These are the city walls that start from the beginning of town all the way through. Mm -hmm. Because Gibraltar used to be a fortress. Yeah. So the water used to come up to here, oh. to the city walls. Mm -hmm. So everything built on that side has been done on artificial land. Mm -hmm. So when we get to the top, mm -hmm. uh, you will see better. The artificial land was done by a Dutch company in the 1800s. 1900s started building on top and we are still building on top. It's incredible. It's a non-stop. Yeah. Um, the demand is very big. The property in some places very expensive. So they used to guard the entrance to the city from this point. That's when the, the Moors were here, mm -hmm. the 1100s. Here we have Nelson statue and Trafalgar cemetery over here on the left. So the Battle of Trafalgar mm -hmm. uh, was through the Atlantic Ocean, 1805. So some of the soldiers are buried there. Uh, so Nelson managed to win that battle. He got shot, he got wounded, and then he was brought down here to Gibraltar, and then he was taken back to England inside a barrel of brandy to preserve the body. And he's buried in St. Paul's Cathedral in England. Um, so the sailors, they say, they were drinking all the same brandy as well. Wow. So obviously he was put inside the brandy and then they changed the bottle to wine and it was put inside wine as well mm -hmm. to preserve. Right, so the cable car is only one stop there to the top and four minutes to the top and then the rest is by foot. Uh, so we're talking a good three hours walk up there. So you're going to see now the amount of walking that you've saved. So we take you from the south to the north. Yeah. And on the north, if you want to stay there to do the tunnels, you can stay there and you can visit the tunnels on your own time and you can walk in from the castle to the city center. I'll let you know later. If you want to do it, fine. You stay. If not, you come back down to the city center with me. That's no problem. So the rock is a six miles long. The highest point, 426 meters height from sea level. And there's a 9.2 gun at the very top, pointing out to the Atlantic Ocean. That was firing out to the ships from uh, that were trying to come in through there, the Battle of Trafalgar. Uh, the, um, so it was very difficult uh, to invade Gibraltar in those days. They had cannons coming out from everywhere. So the rock was used like a warship. Mm -hmm. it's, there's holes everywhere. So they brought cannons out and firing. So it was very, very difficult. They couldn't come in in the Battle of Trafalgar, the Second World War, impossible, and the, um, the Great Siege as well. The Great Siege was 1779 until 1783. So now we, um, we are going to do the first stop at the Pillars of Hercules. So Morocco, which is in front of us there, you can see the mountain there, yeah. it's very clear today. Is Jibol Musa, that's the mountain. Yeah. Gibraltar was called Jibol Tariq, meaning mountain of Tariq. And the Romans called Gibraltar Mons Calpe. So the continent was touching together with Gibraltar. We're talking of thousands of years ago. They started separating with the earthquake and the sea came in from the Atlantic and covered the Mediterranean side. So Gibraltar was one pillar and Morocco was the other pillar. They also say that Hercules separated Africa from Europe. But those are, that's only a legend, of course. It's impossible. Um, so it started separating and the sea came in. So when it was joined together and the Greek used to come down this way with the ships, they used to go back because they said this was the end of the world. Uh, and if they crossed, if they crossed over, that they were going to fall because they thought that the, the world was actually flat. So there in the Pillars of Hercules you're going to see the modern side and the ancient uh, side as well. The two continents touching together. So the rock is hollow inside. We have more than 30 miles of tunnels inside the rock. So when the continent was separating, the rock came from the bottom of the sea. With the tectonic pla uh, plaques pushed the rock up. And now they say that the continent is joining back one centimeter a year, more or less. That's what they're saying. Right, so now we're reaching the first stop. So there you can 
get out, you take some pictures of the views with Africa. Behind that mountain is the Atlas. That's where the monkeys came from. Mm -hmm. So the Moors brought the monkeys here. Okay. Uh, they obviously they had to go. The monkeys stayed around. So Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister then, he was the one that wanted to stay with the monkeys. And it's what we got now. We got a symbol on the rock. Everybody comes to see them from everywhere. They're very famous. Where they bring the monkeys? The monkeys are because they already had the monkeys as a pet. Uh, like having a dog or a cat uh -huh. for hunting. Uh, they used them for other things. So the monkeys stayed here. There were only a few, three or four monkeys only. Okay, here we are. This is our first stop. So when we get down now, all you do is you go a thousand years old. So the underthons were there as well. It used to be an emergency hospital in the Second World War, which uh, they never used. They used the uh, uh, Second World War tunnel. Um, so when it rains, the water goes through the rock. The rock is limestone. That's the name of the stone, limestone. So when it rains, it came out on the other side of the cave. And with the effect of the water and the salt of the rock, they started growing inside the cave. So it's a massive cave, uh, it's an auditorium for music and um, you're going to sit down and you're going to see the light show as well. It's called the awakening. So it's the evolution of the cave. So it feels like the water is coming inside the cave as well, on the side of the, of the, of the rock of course. Um, so they've done a lot of concerts inside. Andrea Bocelli was the last concert that we had no. before the COVID and uh, Boney M was one of the first groups that came here in the 80s Opera, classic artists They're on the oh, side here so They're everywhere mm -hmm. They're all around the rock uh, So the cannons were brought up with the rings there So at the very top that's a 9.2 can So all the heavy stuff was down through here and the grey siege uh, cannons are on the other side, half a tank. This is the, um, the balcony here. We call it the Queen's Balcony because she came over in 1954 and she stood here <coughs> with that couple is uh, overlooking the naval base which is down there. That's where the Navy ships comes in and the submarines down there. And North Mole is for the cruise liners that we haven't got any. At the moment, there's one one big one coming in tomorrow. And what's the last time the Queen was here? In 1954. Yeah. Only his son came over um, not long ago, the Jubilee. And she, he stayed in the governor's place where they do the changing of the guard. And so he came over and he uh, walked around on the main street. So. Now you're going to see monkeys around, the monkeys are everywhere uh, and obviously we, one thing that you haven't got to do is touch the monkeys. Uh, they're wild animals and they can react very differently. Um, every one of them reacts differently. So don't bring any food out in front of them because if they see that you bring food out from a bag, they will go for the bag, especially the big ones. So be careful with that. Uh, don't worry, we are going to do some pictures with the monkeys when we get to the top. Yeah, now you're going to go inside the cave. I'll show you the way. 